now I can, I can see it's the police chief, Eric Mendez, E-R-I-C-M-E-N-D-E-Z. It's uh, Dr. Paul Cruz, he's the chief of schools, P-A-U-L-C-R-U-Z. Um, Alex Sanchez, the dir executive director of communications. You'll, you'll know, you'll have to do that all yeah. again, right? Yeah. Is that, is that on? All right. Yeah. Uh, all of you, thank you for being patient. I know that there's a lot of questions um, you're going to hear. Sure. Um, just for the record, Alex Sanchez, S A N C H E Z, uh, A I S D, spokesperson. There's going to be other folks that will be talking. That's probably who you want to capture sounds from. But let me just give you a sense of what's going to happen. Uh, we have a couple statements um, that uh, both the chief of police, Eric Mendez, as well as the superintendent, Maria Karstarfin, uh, will, will, be, will be giving you with some information. Uh, should there be any additional questions, we'll have the public information officers uh, for the different jurisdictions uh, handle those questions with you. Uh, let me first, uh, there will be no question and answer. Sir, at this time, there are going to be statements, again, from the Chief of Police, Eric Mendez, as well as the Superintendent of Schools, Maria Karstarfin. Let me first introduce the Chief of Police, Eric Mendez. Good afternoon. Uh, just real quick, we had a, a, a situation today uh, where we regret to inform you that a student has uh, succumbed to a fatal uh, self-inflicted wound. Um, sorry. The incident occurred approximately at 12.04 p.m. Uh, in the school courtyard here at Lanier High School. The school was immediately placed on lockdown. Um, after the incident, uh, the school has since been, the lockdown has since been lifted. The students have been sent home. Uh, this is an active investigation. Uh, we anticipate that we will, that law enforcement, uh, the medical examiner's office and, and other uh, officials will be on campus for a good portion of the rest of the afternoon. Um, and so uh, at this time, we don't have any other further information on the incident. So, okay, Dr. Karstar. Um, good afternoon, thank you for being here today. This is an incredible, uh, tragic loss uh, for our AISD families. Our hearts um, and our thoughts and our prayers go out to, um, to this child's family. We were uh, certainly um, saddened to know that uh, during his time here with us that um, that it led to such a tragic end to his life. We are absolutely providing counseling services and support to our children, our families, and staff. Counseling, ser counseling services will continue throughout the night as at, until 6 p.m. here at the school. It is our intent to uh, open school tomorrow. Uh, to allow our students to be able to have access to their teachers and, um, and other staff members that we believe can give them uh, support uh, given the tragedy today. Uh, we also encourage our families, our staff and our students to reach out to um, counseling hotlines. Uh, there are uh, many of them available uh, through the Travis County um, through Travis County so that uh, throughout the evening if they have uh, questions or concerns they can call uh, professionals who can be available to them to answer any questions um, and in closing I'll just say um, you know we, uh, we our deepest sympathies go out to um, to the family uh, after this event thank you Thank you. The public information officers will remain to answer any questions uh, with the superintendent and with the chief of police today are trustee Ann Teich, principal of Lanier High School, uh, Kathy Ryan, uh, chief of schools, Paul Cruz, assistant superintendent for high schools, Edmund Oropes, and also uh, joining us is also commander Mike Benavides with EMS. So again, thank you so much. I know there might be a, lo a lot of questions, both Antonio Lujan, myself, Alex Sanchez, and uh, commander Benavides will remain here uh, to go through some of your questions. Thank you so much. We'll be back. Uh, we encourage students, uh, families, and staff to call the Austin Travis County's Mobile Crisis Outreach Team. It's a 24-hour hotline. The phone number is 
512-472-HELP. That's 512-572-HELP or 4357 for counseling over the phone. We will uh, keep the, the, the Lanier High School's Health Science Wing open tonight until 6 p.m. Uh, providing counseling services to students, families, and staff. There will be additional counselors throughout the week providing